thought we'd take it off before. If I'm walking around the office, I should put it back on. But just for the next little while, whilst I'm in your hands, I don't need to wear a mask. Good luck with the bidders here today. As you can see, quite a few people interested in online here today. And why wouldn't they be a wonderful, wonderful offering that we have on here? Potential plus it is a wonderful property. Good luck to the bidders today. And of course, to that successful bidder, we do wish you our congratulations in advance. Today's auction, of course, it will be conducted in accordance with any rules and any available conditions that are made available before the start of the auction. The auction rules prohibit an auctioneer for accepting any late bids or offer for the property after the property has been knocked down to be successful bidder. So what that means, ladies and gentlemen, is in language term and simple language, I'm going to call the property three times. First call, second call, third and final call, but when the gavel hits like so, it's all over Red Rover, you can't take any late bids or offers after that point. We do understand, of course, that buying and selling of real estate here at Ray White Wrigley, we do understand that that is a very important and complicated decision. So we will afford every bidder ample time, have a conversation, pull the phone out, dial or call a friend, take it out the calculator, whatever it is that you need to do, we will allow you time to do that. So I do apologize in advance if you are the highest bidder and you do become frustrated with me, but I can assure you I'll give you the same courtesy should you need, and also if we're selling your home, you would want us to do the exact same thing and make sure we've given every buyer every opportunity to pay what they would like to pay. The vendors, of course, they do have a reserve price. As auctioneer, I'll indicate bidders on request. The law prohibits false bids and prohibits major disruptions by bidders, and the law does provide fines for this conduct. The rules, they do permit vendor bids. I'll make it really, 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 really simple. And really, 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 really obvious, if I'm gonna make a bid on behalf of the vendor, in fact, I'll help you out, I'll make it so simple and so obvious, I'll even use those words, vendor bid, and by law, only I, as the auctioneer, may make a vendor bid. As I said, ladies and gentlemen, sell here today by a public auction. We call for a 10% deposit upon signing of the contracts with the balance to be paid in 30 days time. As settlement, Cameron, the market agent, Cameron Bradley here has assured me that there's been a few variations to those terms. Those variations have been approved by the vendors, be with confidence, knowing that the vendors have done absolutely everything that they can to make it as easy as they can for you to buy this wonderful, wonderful property. Couple of housekeeping rules first before we start. So, there are two ways that you are able to bid. Option number one is you yell out the bid as you would on the street. You put your hand up and yell it out. I'll see it on the screen, okay? Um, and I'll acknowledge the bid. However, what seems to be the more popular option, which I would probably encourage you all to do if it were up to me, is in the chat function. So at the top right of your screen, okay, you'll see how the number of people on the media, and then next to that, you'll see what looks like a little speech bubble or a little page. Okay, that is the chat function. I can see here that Woonson, Unknown, Nicole, EM12, Daniel, BSP, and Elise, you have all done a test one already, I can see that. So what you're able to do, if you want to type, if you want to do the chat function, you can type your bid in and it will pop up on my screen. Connor got you there, mate, at, uh, got your test there. So you type your bid in, that would be my preference, that's what I would suggest to do, but you can do the other way, should you like. If you have any technical issues, course, just give Cam Bailey a call, he's at his number, he's on the realestate.com ad, he can help you through if you have any issues at all throughout the auction. Well, what a wonderful opportunity we have here, 4 slash 1, Greenwood Avenue, literally a hop, skip and a jump to the train station. I reckon you can throw the tennis ball and hit the train station if you had not a bad arm from the outfield. Two bedrooms, one bathroom, low maintenance, single level. It is a wonderful opportunity. Perhaps you're a first time buyer looking to get into the market. Perhaps you're an investor wanting to add to your portfolio. Everything is at your door. There's a beautiful park just up the road. As I said, train station, Eastland, Ringwood Secondary Zone. It has everything at your doorstep. Public schools, private schools, secondary, primary. You've got all the train station, either access into the city, everything that we come to love about this wonderful suburb that we do call Ringwood. It is here at your doorstep to the investors in the crowd. Rental estimate of $340 to $370 is what the lovely Adriana has uh, tipped that the property will rent in its current condition. It's a wonderful investment, wonderful location. The reason I'm telling you this is I am sure 
and this property will go up and up and up and up and up and up in value over the years to come, whether it is an investment or whether it is somewhere for yourself to reside. It's probably enough out of me. Throw it over to you. Can Bailey give me the hurry up? He's giving me the stand. You go, come on, Chris, get along with it. Get along with it. So we not, let's not keep Cam Bailey waiting. Over to you. You've seen it. You loved it. Now's your chance to bid and buy it. Opening bidder offer. Get me underway. Four slash one, 300. Got 460. Bang. Got the 460 there, Cam. At 460. At 460, the bid clearly bid off it here at 460. Thanks for the bid there, Anne, but yep, got blown out, unfortunately. 460, let's take a $10,000 bid from there. At 460, if I have. At 460, the bid now, clear the bid off it here. 470, get some instructions, can if I can. We right can. On the market, we sell. 480, got you there, on. Better, better bid, we sell it here today. At 480, SE, that was a good strategy. Come on back now, 480, the bid with Oscar. At 480, on the market, we sell. 85, I'll take. At 485, I've got it there, 485, let's go 90. At 485,000, 90, I've got it back. At 90, I have. Quick bid it is. At 90, let's go 95, 95, I've got it. Round me up at 500, half a million dollars. At 495, the bid now. 500, I've got it there. At 500, clear bid off it here, 500,000. 505 or 510, I search. 505, I've got it. At 505, the bid. At 505, let's go. 515, 10, 510. Clear bid off it here, 510. Quick auction this year. The bid is a good property when you buy a property at auction like this. At 510, I had. First call, 510. Surely we're not done now, Esther. That was a great start from you. Good strategy, but it has to pay off, unfortunately. It hasn't yet. At 510. A second call, 510. Come back for 15. Third and final time, 510,000. At 11, I'll take it. Got the 11 from EM there. I'll take 12 if it gets you back in there, Winston. 12, I've got it at 5112. At 5112, the bid now. Let's go 15 at 512, I got. Let's go 515. At 512, the bid now. First goal, 512. Get you back. 520, bang, knockout bid. Mike Tyson would be proud. He's definitely come back too easy, didn't know. He's 53 years old and he's going to start boxing again. At 520 and 21. At 521, the bid now. Got it there at 521. At 521, let's go 30, Oscar. That's a good strategy. Keep doing it again. At 520, 30 we go. 22, I'll take wishful thinking on my behalf, perhaps, but I'll take the 522. At 522, half. At 522, the bid now. Where do we go now, Em? Suggest the $1,000 the bids, they don't work. Smaller bids, they encourage the next. Let's go and knock out. 525. At 522, I have. Let's make it a bigger step for him at 522. At 522, 25 to get you back here. At 522, first call. SN, I haven't forgotten about you. I'll take a half, why not? At 522 and a half. At 522, 23. At 523, we have smaller bids, they don't work. Let's go 525. 525, then. Trust me, I'm a real estate agent. I know what I'm doing here. At 523, I have. At 523, suggest 25. At 523, the bid. First girl, 523. 23 and a half, why not? That's 523 and a half, couldn't pick that one was coming. That's 523 and a half. That's 523 and a half. So Jeff made the knockout bid there, Oscar. Let's go 525. 525, we search. 524, thought that one was coming, that's okay. At 524, I have. At 524, on the market, we sell. No, no better bid, Soul Sticker goes up here today. At 524,000, first call. And we'll be in and we're out. Second call, 524,000. I'll take another half, 25, bang. You reappeared like Houdini, Wing Thing. It's good to have you back, son. At 525. At 525, got the 26 back up there, and got 26, 27. 27 there from Oscar. At 527. At 527, 28, get you back, and all 28 wins, son. At 526. 27 is the bid. 527 I have from Oscar. 527 the bid. Where do we go now, Em? Oscar's got the bid. 527 is where it's at. Let's go 28. First call, 527. Second call, 527. 28, got it there. Good to have you back at 528. Let's go 30. 528 with them I've got. 
Five twenty-eight. Where do we go, Oscar? Win some. Let's go now. Where do we go? Let's go. Five thirty twenty-nine. I'll take it. At five twenty-nine. At five hundred and twenty-nine. At five hundred and twenty-nine. On your clothes. On the clothesline. At five twenty-nine. At five hundred and twenty-nine. First goal. Five twenty-nine. Twenty-nine 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 twenty-nine.
at 5.58. At 558,000, and I got it there at 5.58 from you, ask me, where do we go? Two people fighting it out, it's like Roger Nadal. Bang, bang, forehand, back air, 60, I got it there. One way to shut an auctioneer up is the bid, thank you. At 560, at 560, I got it here. Where do we go now? I lost a 60 I had. That's 560 I got. That's 560,000 dollars. Clearly they didn't offer it here. First call, 560. Second call, 560 against you, Oscar. All eyes are on you. What do we want to do? I'll give you a moment to think about it, Oscar. Hell of a lot of real estate here. It could be his last bid at 560. Give it to him, that's what they all say. At 560 I have. Appreciate your patience here. Can I just get some instructions if I can, mate? At 560. Look, Oscar, I'll tell you what. Just hear me out for a moment, okay? If you bid at 561, that's $1,000. That's $3,000 more than your last bid. The worst thing that happens is you might buy it. Because if he bids over the top, you spent no money. For $3,000 extra on your last bid, you, the worst thing that happens is you could buy it. 561, last roll of the dice. See what we can do here. I can tell you, the last bids, they do buy property. I can assure you, at 560, I appreciate your patience there, at 560, let's go 61, roll the dice, see what happens. What do we say? $3,000, I'll tell you what, well, the 2% interest rate that you can get at the moment, that works out to be about $3.10 extra a week in your repayments if my maths are correctly. For the price of a latte, you could have a unit. Ask Cam, I'm sure you'll buy you a coffee a week if you did. 560. 61 we go, Oscar. <clears throat> Last roll of the dice. Appreciate your patience, Winslow. At 560 I have. What do you say, Oscar? Last chance. Another $1,000 bid. See what happens. I'll tell you what, that's even better than a $1,000 bid. At 565. That's 565 the bid. That's a lot of lattes, but I like it. That's 565. Where do we go now? 565, I've got it there. 565. That's 565. 66, I've got it. That's 566. That's 66. Let's go 67, Oscar. That's 66 the bid. On the market, we sell. 566,000. Where do we go now? 67 seems logical. I would have thought. Where do we want to go, Oscar? 67, I would have thought. Why not 68? 69? 70? 75? What about 580? I'll just keep going up, Oscar. You tell me when to stop. What about 600? Okay, I'll tell you what. We'll take a $1,000 bid if you won't be up to that level. Why not, eh? We'll take a $1,000. 567 where you can get back in if you like. At 566, I have. First call, 566. What are we doing, Oscar? Another roll of the dice. Third, final time. You said that you were out earlier, Oscar. If you pardon me for not believing you, I'll tell you what, I might just keep talking positive. <laughs> you said that last week. You said, give it to him. Definitely, I'm out. I'm just going to keep talking because I like it when I keep talking and you have a chance to think about it. Because what tends to happen is you think, wow, this is a really good unit, isn't it? This is in a great location. It's good rental returns. Perfect for first home buyers. Across the road from a park, just up the road there. Maybe I should bid more. That's what you thought last time, and I want you to have the same thought. At 566, the bid. Last roll of the dice. 566, the bid. Same story. The worst thing that happens is you buy. Let's go half. A $500 bid. I'll take 500. That's it. Last roll of the dice. Get you back in. $500. Because what's going to happen, Oscar? If you're going to go back, if you don't buy the property here today, then you're going to go back out, realestate.com, okay, you're going to go line up private inspections with real estate agents, and let's be honest, no one likes talking to real estate agents, and I understand that. So then what's going to happen is, you're going to go look at properties, okay, the agent's going to ring you back, you're not going to return the call, because you, know, you don't want to talk to the real estate agent, but we're really, really sneaky after real estate agents, because what we're going to do is on Wednesday, we're going to do our second round callbacks, and then we're going to put our number of private, and we're going to get you there, and you're going to answer, and you go, oh, I didn't want to answer that. And then what's going to happen is this is going to go on for a couple of months. And then you're going to finally settle and you're going to buy a property that you don't actually want to buy. And you're going to sit back and you think, Do you know what, we should have listened to that crazy auctioneer back on the 25th of July at 11 a.m. We should have bought that place at Greenwood because all the other places that we're looking at are just not as good. Don't want you to have that to happen to you. 
Half a thousand dollars. Half a bid. Five hundred dollars. Last roll of the dice. In, out, Oscar. Five hundred dollars. Worst thing that happens is you buy. Five sixty-six and a half. I search. Appreciate your patience, Win Sue. Same courtesy to you, should you need them. If we're selling your property, you want me to be doing the exact same thing, I'm sure. At five sixty-six. Oscar, in, out, what are we gonna do? Last a half, I'll take. What about a hundred dollar bid? I'll even take a hundred dollars, Oscar, if it gets you back. I'll take a hundred dollars, Oscar. Why not? It's the only money. What do we want to do, Oscar? Hundred dollar bid to get you back. Last roll of the dice. What are we doing, Oscar? Have I convinced you? Last time I just talked and then you put a five thousand dollar bid in. I'm sort of hoping that that might happen again. All right. Got it there at hundred dollars. That five sixty six one hundred. Suggest a bigger increment win soon. Let's go 57, uh, 67. Don't go another small bid. Just encourage to the next bid. Let's go 67. What are we doing? It could be the last bid, I think. Been a good strategy so far. You've reappeared. You've come back. Here you are at the end. 60. All right, take the $100 bid. At 66, 200. At 5, 66. 200. I told you I was just going to encourage the next bid. 300. I've got it there. 566, 300. Where do we want to go now? Suggest you make a bigger step. You know, the analogy we talk about the staircase. If you want to go from ground floor to top floor, it's a big step. If you keep building the staircase, these little bids, suddenly it's not that big of a step. Let's do a big step. Let's go 67 at least. 567, I suggest. Like I said earlier to someone, trust me, I'm a real estate agent. At 566, got it there, 67. At 567, appreciate the bid. At 566, could be not, could be. Could be a strategy, Oscar. What do we want to do now? At 567,000, we clearly did an offer. At 567, at 567, where do we go now, Oscar? Entirely up to you. Everyone's looking at you. You're in the box seat. At 567, we have. Any rides at all we'll take. First call, five, six, seven. Still take $100 if it gets you back. Six, 567, 800. Got it there, $800 increase. $800, 567, 800. At five, six, seven, 800. Hopefully a lucky number for you, I hope. At 567, $800. Where do we go now? At 567, 800. First call, five, six, seven, 800. Over to you, Winslow. What's your lucky number? Second call, 567, 800. Where are we going now? Third, final time. That's still 567,800. Where are we going, Winsu? Need to know, now's the time. Surely we're not going to be with us for so long. I thought you had it a few times there. Don't be defeated. 568, got you there at 568. At 568,000 we have. At 568, the bid now, clearly a bit over here at 568,000. Where do we go now, Oscar? 568, you almost had it. 568. That last bit of it took a lot longer, Oscar. Certainly a lot longer than what he'd been doing. He sort of did that, re that Houdini reappearing trick again, didn't he? At 568,000, where do we go now? First call, 568. I have. On the market, we sell. No better bid. Cable comes down here this morning. Second call, 568,000. Where are we going, Oscar? Third, final time. At 568,000, the bid. On the market, we sell. What are we doing, Oscar? What's the next number you want me to read out? You just type it in and I'll read it out. It seems to be how this deal works. At 568, what's the next number? Where do we go? Are we in or are we out? Need to know, surely not. 568,000. Any rides at all, I'll take. Two bedrooms, one bathroom. Wonderful opportunity here, great location. The other location does not get any better. Where are we going? What are we doing, Oscar? I need to know, in or out? Appreciate your patience, Winsor. You've been a great support. Same goes if Will's selling your property. I can assure you. Oh, Oscar, you said you, know, you said you were out earlier. In fact, you said you were out twice earlier. 
Are you sure you're out this time? At 568,000, any rise I'll take. Another 100 I'll take. I'm going to call it three times. Are you sure you're in? I'll ask you. Or do you want me to just keep talking like I did last time? It seems to me when I talk, you aren't you think about it a bit more than you go, yeah, you know what, this is actually a really nice place. Maybe we should actually bid. At 568, are we in or are we out, Oscar? Last roll of the dice, need to know. First call, 568,000. Are you sure, Oscar? Windows closing, but there's still time. Second call, a second time. Yes, yes you'll bid or yes you're out. Third and final time, out. Am I okay to sell it, Cam? Cam's nodding. Yes, he is with his mask on. He never looked so pretty with that mask on. It's covering up a couple of things. We're on the market. We're selling 568,000. First, second, third. We're selling. We're selling. Congratulations, we sold. Thanks for coming out. We hope you enjoyed the auction. We hope to see you at the next Ray White Ringwood online auction. Have a lovely, lovely weekend.